Welcome to Advantex. I'm Owen Jensen with your Prop Tax Minute. Is your company considering pursuing legitimate property tax refunds? Some simply don't because they fear community backlash, including from school districts who depend on that money. After all, no company or CEO wants to be accused of taking money from the children. But the real question may be, where does fiscal responsibility on the part of school districts or any government entity receiving property tax funds come into play? And why are the politics of taking money from the children used against corporations who do pay their fair share and sometimes even more than their fair share? In one example, a company had been overassessed for years and finally negotiated a settlement with a school jurisdiction who we're not going to identify here. The appeals and subsequent settlement included refunds of over a million dollars, no chump change by any means. In a last ditch effort, the school superintendent strongly urged said company to just forget the money and let the school district keep it. But the company had done its prior research and learned the school district was actually spending on its students thousands of dollars more than the national average. Confronted with those facts, the settlement was quickly accepted. The case was not about taking money from the children. In reality, it had more to do with using common sense and how the funds are spent. If your company is struggling with excessive property taxes while at the same time wanting to be a good corporate citizen, we can help. Contact us at advantex.com. Thanks for watching.